Zoe, we're in big trouble. We spawned in the middle of nowhere on this tiny island and there's a volcano right in front of us. What? How did we get here? And why is there a message saying that this volcano is going to blow up in an hour? I don't know, but we need to act fast. We won't survive if the volcano erupts. Let's build an underground secret base to protect ourselves. You're right, Dax. We have no other choice. We'll definitely need to work together and build the best base ever. Time is ticking, Zoe. Let's start digging and building before it's too late. Okay, Zoe, that volcano is super huge, and we're going to need to find a spot next to the ocean if we want to have an underground secret base. Okay, we have to hurry. And let's see, where's the perfect spot on this island? Ooh, over this cliff looks really really good so we can see the whole ocean from here that'll be like totally nice yeah there's no way the lava can get all the way over here and zoe for our safety we need to make a secret entrance that no one can find yeah dax let's make it hidden just like our base okay so let's see it oh zoe what if we have like a two-part hidden entrance to our base this will be totally awesome that sounds so cool so I'm thinking the first thing we should do is make like a really obvious entrance and we can have a tiny house down there. But inside of there was our actual secret entrance is gonna be. Wow, that is so sneaky. Okay, so let me just dig into the ground a little bit and then maybe I can make out a little tiny hole where our house is gonna be. So Zoe, why don't you start bringing that side over there and I'll break this side over here. Sounds good to me. We just need like a little box and we're gonna put down some oak planks. It's just gonna be like a little room. It's gonna be nothing too fancy. Okay, Zoe, and like I said, this is gonna be the first secret base. So why don't we replace this floor to be oak planks and then we can make a ladder going down here from where our trap door is. Sounds good to me. I'll start placing the wood. Okay, and I'll start placing the build on the outside so we can build a border, and then I'll just add it to the inside. And actually, let me go ahead and add in those ladders. That way, we can actually get down here with no issues. Yeah, that's probably smart. I'll just build it on this wall and build the ladders going up and perfect. This is looking super good. But like I said, Zoe, this is where our actual secret base is going to be. So it's going to be super sneaky. And how is it going to be sneaky again? Yeah, that's a good question, Zoe. The way we're actually going to make this secret entrance is by using this thing called a ghost block. What's a ghost block? Well, basically, it takes all the shape of any block. Look, if I put it right here where the oak planks are, it just looks like a normal oak plank, right? That looks just like an oak plank. But as soon as I flick it, it actually opens up and acts just like a trap door. That way we can actually go down to our real base. That is seriously so sneaky. Okay, Zoe, while I'm building down to the real base, can you make this look like a little bit of a house? Maybe add in like some chairs and tables and stuff. Sure, I can start doing that. So let me just dig all the way down to where the ocean floor is gonna be since I want this to be an underwater base after all. And ooh, Zoe, what if we have like a big thing of glass that surrounds where our water base is gonna be. That sounds super cool. If we had to like swim through it, it would definitely ward off anyone that tried to sneak in. So first, let me just make a huge outline out of glass that way we can actually see the water once we get towards the ocean. And now that I have all of this glass built out, all I have to do is use this super cool command and I can just stack the glass super far. And of course, I'm going to go up and make all of this stone glass since we want to be able to see the water after all. Let me just break some of these ugly blocks that are over the top and perfect. So wait, doesn't this actually look super nice? This does look super nice. And this is where we're going to build out the entrance to our actual secret under underwater base. It's going to be totally awesome. I've never had an underwater base before. This is going to be so cool. And just to make sure we can get down here after we press the secret trap door, let me just add in some ladders. That way we can actually climb down. Unless you just want to jump all the way down. That probably wouldn't be very smart though. Yeah, that really wouldn't be very smart because we'd probably take some serious damage. And whoa, Zoe, this room is actually looking pretty nice down here. I'm actually going to spice it up a little bit, just adding in some glass, since we do want to completely sell that this is our normal base. That's such a smart idea. Okay, Zoe, now that we have this main room built out, let's head back down, and then we can start building out our first place. Yeah, we should do a cozy bedroom, Dax, where we can rest safely. Oh, wait, a bedroom? That'd actually be a super great idea, and we can make it feel just like home. This is going to be awesome. My side of the room is going to be purple. What? Okay, if your side of the room is going to be purple, I'm definitely going to make my side of the room going to be green. Blah. Green's like the worst color ever. What in the world? Are you serious? Green is my favorite color. You can't say something that mean. Okay, I'll just say that green is not as cute as purple. Well, whatever. Let's see. Where do you want to start building out the room? Do you want to go in this direction or do you want to go in this direction over here? They're basically the same thing, though. I want to go that way. Okay, so let's start building out in this direction. And maybe we should go under the ground a little bit, just so we're a little bit hidden. That makes sense. So let me go ahead and add in some more glass. And there's going to be a little bit of water flooding in for now, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, it should dry up. I'm going to get some sponges. Oh, okay, that's actually a really good idea since sponges suck up all the water. And of course, in order to get down to our room, we're going to need some add and some ladders like normal. So let's start putting those down. Dax, you really place a lot of ladders down. Uh, yeah, because we need ladders to go down, Zoe. Otherwise, how would we get down here? I'm just saying you place a lot of them down. Is that like your favorite thing? Yeah, I mean, I guess ladders are one of my favorite things. What block is your favorite? Mm, let 
let me think about that. I'm kind of thinking purple concrete. What? Purple concrete? Are you serious, Zoe? That's like a lame block. It's better than freaking ladders. What? Are you serious? Ladders are the coolest thing and the most useful thing ever. If you have purple concrete, it literally doesn't do anything. Well, I could build an elevator out of purple concrete, so I wouldn't have to use the stairs. Wait, an elevator? Zoe, why did we just add an elevator? Why do we even have ladders? I mean, I was going to mention it, but you were just so excited to place ladders down. Okay, wait a second, Zoe. Maybe this could be like the main area of our base, and then we could have an elevator going down to different floors. That'd be pretty cool. That would be super cool. See, I'm a total genius. Good thing I thought about the elevator thing. Um, actually, I think I was the one that thought about the elevator. What? Are you serious, Zoe? I literally just brought up the elevator. Why are you lying? I brought it up. I said elevators are better than ladders. <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't even make a difference. Let's just go ahead and start adding some stuff to this room. Maybe we could put down some planks and then some paintings on the wall and just make it like a little cozy entrance to our whole base. Sounds good to me. I'll start getting the planks and the paintings. And Zoe, since this is going to be both of our house, I think we'll make one side out of live carpet and I'll make the other side out of some purple carpet. That way everyone knows that this is our base. This is going to be so cool. Yeah, it's going to be super awesome, especially we have this huge elevator. I've never seen anyone with an elevator before. Yeah, people are going to think we're rich, Rich. Well, I mean, we are rich, Rich, Zoe. I have like five stacks of diamonds. How many do you have? Like a million. But you do not have a million stacks of diamonds, Zoe. You're a total liar. I seriously do. Do you want to see them? Uh, sure. Go ahead and show me them. Okay, let me show you real quick. There you go. Uh, Zoe, this is literally only one diamond. Are you serious right now? But that one diamond is worth a million diamonds. Uh, that doesn't even make any sense. But okay, I'm going to start building out the elevator and we can have a bunch of different floors with a bunch of different rooms. This is going to be so nice. This is going to be super nice. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now I have to dig underneath and figure out where our first room is actually going to be at. And what did you say earlier? You said you want to do a bedroom, right? Yes, I need a bedroom. Okay, so how about I just dig down a few blocks? We can have our bedroom right about here. This looks like a nice place to have it. Let me just go ahead and test out our awesome elevator. And whoa, Zoe, this is so cool. Look at this. You can just hop right on this, hit the button, and it takes you to whatever floor you want to go to. Honestly, Dax, I'm surprised you got that thing to work. I'm like a total genius, Zoe. This was so easy. Seriously, it was easy? Uh, yeah, I just told you I'm a total genius. Duh. Yeah, I just didn't think you were that good of a builder, but I'm happy for you. Well, whatever. Okay, while you're up there putting a bunch of dumb lights, I'm going to start building out our room. I'm going to make it super big. Hey, I made an art gallery up here. You should be thanking me. Wow, an art gallery. That's so cool, Zoe. You know, I hate art, right? You hate art? How could you hate something so beautiful? Uh, because all the paintings suck and I could do way better. I'm not too sure about that, Dax. Well, just wait. I'll make a super cool painting and then you're going to be like, extremely jealous. You think so, do you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I know so, Zoe. Duh, I just said that. Okay, Zoe, and like we said, we're going to make one half of this green and the other side purple. So I guess you can go ahead and build on that side over there. Okay, this is going to be so cool. Yeah, but I bet my side of the room is going to be even cooler than your side of the room. You seriously think so? My room is going to be so purple, it's going to put your lime green room to shame. I seriously doubt that, Zoe. I have a bunch of cool things that I can add to my bedroom, and I bet you're way too poor to afford any of them. Are you serious, Dax? That is not nice at all. Well, I mean, if it's the truth, it's the truth. You only gave me one diamond, and you said you had like a million. Yeah, I gave you one that was worth a million. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Zoe. And I actually think I'm going to add my bed on the side of the wall, since it looks a lot cooler than being straight in the front. Hey, I was going to do that too, you copycat. But how am I a copycat if I literally did it first, Zoe? That doesn't even make any sense. Thought about it first. Uh, okay, whatever. You know what my room's gonna have that your room's not gonna have? What is it, Dax? A super cool couch with a huge, awesome TV in the wall. I bet you're so jealous right now. I'm not jealous because I thought of that very same thing. What? No, you didn't, Zoe. You literally don't even have a TV right now. I think you're just a big liar. That's because I'm making my room purple. Oh, uh, whatever. Actually, I should probably go ahead and do the walls too, since it looks like you're doing the walls as well. The next thing I think I want to add to my room is a few different paintings. Let's see which one looks super cool and Ooh, this one with like axolotls and whoa, this one looks way cooler than anyone I've ever seen before. Let me go ahead and add a few more. Maybe I can put one on this wall and which one do I want to use it? Ooh, this one with a big whale. That one looks really cool. I'm also going to add in a few different fish takes just to spice up my side and even have this super cool lime sheet plushie that I'm going to put next to my bed. And I have one more thing that I think I'm going to add to my room and it's going to make it a million trillion times better than your side, Zoe. Oh yeah, and what is that? I'm going to have a lava wall behind my bed. It's going to look so cool. Yeah, I see. Seriously, Dad, it's going to look that cool, Dax. What, are you serious? Wait, have you ever even seen a lava wall before? Yes, of course I've seen a lava wall. Yeah, I doubt it because this one's going to look way cooler than anyone you've seen before. Look, let me just add all the lava to the top of the ceiling and then you're going to be super jealous of mine. Here we go. The lava is falling down. And Zoe, look at this. You can't tell me this isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen in a bedroom. Wow, that's super nice, Dax. Never seen anything like it before. What, it, Zoe, you're literally just a big hater. What the heck? 
I, you can't call me a big hater. Well, I mean, that's what you're doing. You're hating on my bedroom, even though it looks a million trillion times better than your side. I'm still working on it. Uh, okay, whatever. I doubt you could add in anything else. I'll even look nearly as cool as this. And actually, Zoe, I do have one more idea for something that we could also build. What is it, Dax? We should build a kitchen. And since our rooms are right here, maybe we could just put it behind where our rooms are. That sounds like a super good idea. Okay, let me just break apart a little bit of this wall. And then I can start carving a ginormous room. And we're going to have like a bunch of different foods in here, Zoe, like a bunch of cakes and a bunch of pork chops and whatever else you want really Ooh, pork chops are so good is that your favorite thing like one of them and like i said zoe this is going to be our kitchen area so i'm gonna start adding in a bunch of different kitchen i have like a bunch of cabinets and a bunch of little sink places and just a bunch of cool stuff that we could have that is gonna be super cool are you gonna make the kitchen purple i uh, know i'm not gonna make the kitchen purple i'm gonna make it all out of this wood zoe why would i want a purple kitchen that's totally ugly because my favorite color is purple well yeah it's still ugly though so i'm not gonna do that that's not nice and wait a second i actually I forgot one of the most important things for a kitchen zoe are you seriously gonna let me forget right now what is it dax i forgot to add in a fridge and every kitchen needs a super cool fridge you are such a silly goose yeah i honestly don't really know how i forgot about that but hey this wall looks pretty good for a kitchen now we need to start adding in some of the actual kitchen stuff like tables and chairs and things i got a table oh perfect okay go ahead and make the table and the chairs and i'm gonna start adding in a bunch of wood to the floors sounds good to me and actually zoe i'm gonna change up the kitchen a little bit i'm gonna use dark oak since it looks a lot cooler than the normal oak seriously i just put down some light oak well i think the dark oak looks way cooler don't you just look at this no it looks fine but i still like the light oak better well whatever i guess you can use whatever you want i'm doing the back of the kitchen you can worry about the front part and since this is the main kitchen area let me just go ahead and add in a coffee maker and i could also add in a toaster and oh i could even add in this super cool blender we have like all the cool things in our kitchen. Ooh, a toaster. Can we make waffles? I mean, I guess we could make waffles, but honestly, so I think pancakes are way better than waffles. Are you seriously team pancakes? Uh, yeah, that's why I just said pancakes are like a million trillion times better. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? Are you serious? Zoe? Do you actually think that waffles are better than pancakes? Of course I do, Dax. What in the world? Zoe, you literally have no idea what you're even talking about. It's just my opinion. Well, whatever. It doesn't even make a difference. I know that pancakes are way better. Man, Zoe, I think our kitchen turned out so good. Like we have paintings and we have a whole bunch of cake and a whole bunch of different kitchen equipment. This is like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, this is the perfect kitchen. We're going to be well fed. Okay, but I think the next thing we should do is actually make an aquarium. Since we are underwater, it'd probably be super cool to see a bunch of fishes and stuff. Good idea. I think we're going to have our own underwater world. Okay, so let me go ahead and make a new floor with our elevator. Let's go down uh, about like 20 blocks or something like that. Okay, Zoe, let's go down to our next floor. Like I said, it's going to be an aquarium. And this is probably going to be one of the coolest floors ever. Yeah, this is going to be super cool. Do you think we're going to have a dolphin in our aquarium? I mean, I guess we could. We can really have whatever we want inside our aquarium. It is ours after all. That's so true. Okay, and of course, give us an aquarium look. What we have to do is get a bunch of glass and build like a huge cube. And then we can put water on the outside if it actually make it look like one okay so get to break in but Zoe, are you seriously not gonna help me at all no i need to take a nap i'm tired oh my gosh Zoe, why are you so lazy i'm not lazy i'm tired oh whatever it doesn't even make a difference i guess i can go ahead and start building it out by myself okay i'm gonna take a nap okay let me just fill it in some parts of the floor and then i can start adding the glass to the outside and Zoe, are you actually taking a nap right now dax you're doing a great job i'm just gonna continue sleeping no Zoe, you have to get up and help me at least help me build the walls or something like that that. Seriously? You're always making me do work. Well, Zoe, you have to do something. This is going to be both of our houses, unless you just want it to be my house. No, it's my house too. Okay, then you better start helping me with the walls. I am helping. Okay, now that I have the glass built out, let me just start filling in a bunch of this section with a bunch of water. Since this is going to be an aquarium, we're going to need to have so much water so all the fishes can swim everywhere. This is going to be super cool. And awesome, Zoe. Doesn't this look so cool? We have so much water around everywhere. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of water, but uh, not a lot of fish. Well, yeah, Zoe, we have to add in the fish so let me go ahead and grab like some silver fish and some puffer fish and wait a second did i literally say silver fish those are like bad fish yeah they're pretty ugly yeah they are like super super ugly but let me start adding in a bunch of these fish and maybe you can add some fish on that side over there zoe okay i'll get to it and hopefully these fish don't fall out of the glass because that'd be pretty bad and since they can't breathe the air they're just gonna die let me throw a few of these tropical fish and i can throw a few puffer fish and perfect i think basically our crab is looking pretty good i think we have a good amount of fish in here yeah 
yeah these look super good yeah this is like one of the coolest aquariums i've ever seen there's just so many different colored fish in here i feel like i've never seen something like this before i did just think of something uh okay well what did you think of zoe i think we're gonna need like a farming area because if we're gonna live down here we're gonna need to like grow our own food oh wait a second that's actually a really good idea if the volcano does blow up we won't be able to go back on the surface anymore so maybe we should have a big farming area good thinking zoe thanks Dax. so let's go ahead and dig down a few more blocks and then we can make like a huge farm zoe like one of the biggest farms you've ever seen in your life is it gonna have cows uh i mean i guess it can have cows it can have whatever you want in it that's gonna be so cool okay let me go ahead and hit this button so we can go down to our next floor and this is where our farm is gonna be we have to make it super big like i just said and maybe we can have like trees and stuff in it just because we're also gonna need oxygen if there's no trees we're not gonna be able to breathe at all yeah and we're gonna have to plant some plants because we're gonna need to grow our own food exactly zoe so let me go ahead and make a really big room for us hey what do you think about this zoe is this a big enough room for our farm this is plenty big okay in order for this to be a farm we're gonna need a whole lot of dirt so why don't we just change this whole floor to be dirt that's a great idea so let me just type in my super simple command set dirt in look at that now all of the ground is dirt and we can plant whatever we want do you think that the plants are gonna grow without any sun i mean i I think they should i don't really know i don't know how plants work oh no i guess we could just try okay so let's get a bunch of different seeds and let's see we should probably get some wheat and probably some pumpkins and maybe some melons too that's gonna be so cool uh and zoe you know trees don't grow like this right what i'm planting the tree well yeah i know you're planting them zoe but they need space they can't glow right next to each other you have to put like one down and give it a bunch of space okay i guess i'll start doing that then okay Zoe. and while you're actually planting all of the trees i'm gonna go ahead and get some seeds and start planting the melons and stuff i love melons yeah Melons are super, super good. And they're probably the most filling fruit that you can get. Seriously? More than strawberries? Uh, yeah. Way more than strawberries. Duh. I'm not sure I believe you. Well, I'll go ahead and show you after I plant a bunch of them. I'm going to need to get myself like a diamond hoe or something because this is going to be a lot of farming. I didn't even know the hoes could be made out of diamonds. Yeah, you can make hoes out of everything. Let me see what we got. We have like netherite hoes and diamond hoes, iron hoes, gold hoes, stone hoes, and wood hoes. That's a lot of hoes. Okay, let me just make sure to fill up every one of these rows with a bunch of water. And actually, I think I think I added one more row of this wall where we're going to have a bunch more fruit. That's going to be so good. Let me just make sure to replace all of this out to be dirt so we can actually plant stuff. And man, there's like a bunch of diamonds down here. So we can probably get rich off this. I'm already rich. How many times do I have to tell you? Zoe, you are literally not rich at all. You're one of the most broke people I know besides myself. Seriously, you can't call me broke. Uh, Well, I mean, it's the truth, isn't it? No. Okay, whatever. I know you're not even going to admit to it. These trees are actually looking super nice. Maybe we can even add some grass on this side with some bone meal so we can have like grass down here as well. That's a super good idea. Okay, let me go ahead and replace that side for grass and then we can put down some bone meal and get tall grass. So let's just go ahead and just back down a bunch of bone meal everywhere. And we're going to have so much food, Zoe. Whenever the volcano goes off, we're going to be totally safe. Yeah, and look, some flowers even spring. Oh, this is so awesome. We have like the coolest farm ever. And look, Zoe, I even planted raspberries over here. Aw, raspberries berries but aren't we gonna have some animals for our farm oh yeah maybe we should have a little animal area let's see what if we make an area behind where the trees are for a bunch of animals that sounds good to me i want to have pigs yeah we can have like anything you want zoe let me go ahead and make a big hole in the wall and then i'll stack it back like 15 blocks and we can put a bunch of animals back here some pigs some cows maybe even some chickens oh that is such a good idea but since they're gonna be animals here let's go ahead and add in the fence that way they can't escape that's a super good idea and since there are gonna be animals after a wall we probably should have a few different places where there's gonna be water because they are gonna get thirsty yeah my animals are already thirsty they're crying but your animals are already crying so you literally just spawn them in how could they be crying because they're thirsty well why don't you give them some water zoe they are your animals i am right now Okay, I think I've added enough water. Let me just go ahead and put down some more bone mills. And maybe we could also add in some trees inside of here. What do you think? That sounds like a super good idea. So let me just grab some saplings. And ooh, maybe we could use some fancy trees like some cherry blossoms. Those would be so pretty. And perfect. So wait, look at all the cherry blossoms I added in. Doesn't this area look so cool? And wait, what are you building? I'm building like a little barn so they can sleep under here. Oh, a little barn. So you are so creative. I didn't even think about something like that. Um, Dax, this farm looks super good. But I just thought of something. Uh, okay. Okay, well, what did you think of, Zoe? Why don't we make a hidden treasure room that we can hold all of our, like, super personal belongings? Oh, wait, that's a great idea. A treasure room would be super smart. But wait, did you say a hidden treasure room? Yeah, we should make it hidden. So that means if anybody comes into our base, they can't find it. Okay, that is a really good idea, Zoe. How about we head back up on the elevator and maybe we can find a good spot for it? Sounds good.
sounds good to me so right here is where we have our aquarium mm, i don't think that's a great spot let's head up one more floor i think our room would be the perfect spot to actually have a hidden chest room yeah but where should we put it let's see it wait what if we add like a secret door right here that way no one will know it's there that sounds like a super good idea okay so let me go ahead and grab this thing called a secret door and as soon as i put it down it's gonna look exactly like the stone right yeah that looks super cool and then we could just walk right in exactly because it acts like a normal door that's perfect so let's go ahead and dig out a few blocks and then i can start making a pretty big room we're gonna have all our chests in this is gonna be awesome i could put my million diamonds in there zoe you don't have a million diamonds we've been over this you don't know what my diamonds look like yes i do zoe you're poor i'm not poor i have more money than you oh my gosh whatever zoe we all know that you're poor but let's go ahead and start adding in some chests we can throw all of our valuables in sounds good to me and actually zoe i don't want my side getting confused with your side so i'm gonna make that side all lime green that way you know not to come over here okay then i'm gonna make my side completely out of purple yeah you could do that because i never want to touch the color of purple now let me go ahead and add in a few different chests inside of these chests are gonna put all of my diamonds at zoe you don't have that many so you don't need that many chests zoe i literally have so many diamonds just watch and wait once my chests are all filled up okay dax whatever you say and since i have so many diamonds i'm actually gonna make a second row of chests so i gotta have even more diamonds in them i don't why you lie you don't even have that many diamonds just wait and see zoe and actually i want to build one of those lava walls behind it again since i thought it looked super cool inside of my bedroom what's with you and lava i think they just look nice don't you think i think it's okay but you like it a lot more than me yeah i mean it's one of my favorite things ever and it's way cooler than water don't tell me you like water better than lava i do like water more than lava how does that even make sense zoe the thing that's blowing up our whole entire island is made out of lava that means it's super cool i think it's poetic uh, okay that doesn't even make any sense now all i have to do is add the lava into the top of the ceiling just like this and it'll all fall down and boom that already looks way cooler than your side what the heck my side looks super cool i think it just looks all right to it because you don't have a huge lava wall like me well i'm getting there you don't know what i'm gonna put don't tell me you're actually gonna copy my idea zoe i'm not i'm gonna make it better and honestly zoe i think my side of the chest room looks way better than your side you just have a bunch of ugly purple blocks and wow you have nothing inside of your chest i told you you were poor whatever it's not like you have anything in your chest uh actually i do zoe what the heck you have so many diamonds in there yeah i told you i have a bunch of diamonds look all of my chests are completely filled up with diamonds you literally have nothing inside of yours okay i just forgot to fill them let me just fill them up real quick <laughs> okay zoe whatever i know you don't have as many diamonds as me so it doesn't even make a difference see i just filled my chest with a bunch of diamonds we're both rich i doubt you have a bunch of diamonds and what the heck so you do have a bunch of diamonds what in the world i told you i'm a millionaire oh my gosh well i guess you are kind of rich and oh my gosh wait i just realized something what is it dax we just left our kids on the surface of the volcano island what the heck is wrong with us oh yeah I'm sure they're fine. What the heck? So we have to go get them. Come on, quick. Hop on the elevator. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go up to our first floor. Come on, Zoe. Quick, we have to go ahead and find them. I don't even know where we left them at. Honestly, little Zoe's so smart. I'm sure she's fine. Oh my gosh. I literally doubt that, Zoe. Come on, quick. We have to be as fast as possible. I think I just saw a squid. Wait, you saw a squid? What the heck? Of course you did, because we're in the middle of the ocean. That was so cool. Oh no, Zoe. I have no idea where we left them. I can't even find them. Honestly, Dax, the last time I saw them was like underneath the volcano. Wait, what? We left them underneath the volcano? Are you serious? Yeah, but I'm sure they're fine. Oh my gosh come on zoe quick we have to run oh my goodness zoe where in the world are our kids at this is ridiculous and oh wait a second zoe i just found them see i told you little zoe was smart she didn't jump into the lava yeah but why in the water are they so close to lava in the first place zoe this is super dangerous maybe because i told them to stay right there and don't move oh my goodness well okay come on guys we have to get you back to the bedroom i think that's probably the safest spot to put them yeah i'd agree well come on zoe we have to make it back to the house i honestly don't even know how much time has passed we have to go I I think it's been like 20 minutes. Well, are you serious? It's only been 20 minutes. Wait, I could have sworn it's been way longer than that. No way. I've been counting this entire time. Okay, well, let's just get back to the room as fast as possible so we can put them in there and then we can keep building some cool stuff. I wonder what we should even build next. Dex, let's have a library for knowledge and enchanting supplies. Oh, wait a second. A library would actually be a really good idea, so I never even thought about that before. Yeah, and I like to read on my free time. And if we're going to be trapped down here because of the volcano, I'm definitely going to need some books. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, let's get these kids down to the bedroom first and then we can start building out our library area. And let's see, both of you guys could just hang out of here, but don't get lost and don't go wandering around or anything. Um, I'm only seeing one of them. Where's the other one? I think they're kind of just stuck inside of each other. This is a little bit weird. That is super weird. Well, okay, Zoe, I think they're basically safe inside our bedroom. Let's go ahead and start building the next part. And you said a library, right? Yes, we need a library. 
Okay, and maybe we should go down to a lower floor so we can have like a super big library. That's a super good idea. Let's go past where the farm is. So let me go ahead and grab another one of these controllers so we can go a bit deeper. And let's see, I think right about here where the blot of floor is looks pretty good. So let me just add another one of these elevator panels. And now we can go down one floor down to our very bottom floor, which is going to be the super awesome library. Okay, now we're on that bottom floor where we said the library is going to be built out. So we should start building out a pretty big room. We're going to have a bunch of different books and stuff. Okay, I'm going to start picking out some bookshelves. Okay, you go ahead and pick out the bookshelves. I'm going to start making a big room. Okay, now that we have this huge space out, let's start adding in a bunch of bookshelves. I'll go ahead and start on this side. You can start on the side over there. Sounds good. I'm going to throw in all these different named bookshelves. Honestly, this is way too complicated. I don't even know how to pronounce this type of stuff. What do you mean you don't know how to pronounce this stuff? Well, they're like super hard names and I've never even like seen these words before. How am I supposed to pronounce it? Well, Dax, this is why we have a lot of books so I can finally teach you how to read. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But Zoe, these words are super hard. It's really not my fault. Okay, what's the word? Well, it looks like Venther, and then there's one that's called Necrolord, and there's one that's called Nardic. Are you serious? You don't know what that means? No, I don't know what they mean, Zoe. What do they mean? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Oh my gosh. See, you don't know either. These words are super hard. And Zoe, actually, instead of having one of those lava walls, what if I made a lava floor? That sounds like a great idea. Then we can always have lights so we can read, even when it's dark. Exactly. So, okay, let me go ahead and stack the floor down like one more, and then I can fill this whole layer up to be glass that way we can actually put the lava below it and then we'll be able to see even at nighttime in perfect zoe doesn't having this lava all the way down here make it look so much cooler it looks so awesome in here now we need like a super comfy couch oh we probably should have a couch but let's see what type of couch should we even get hmm, let me think we need one that's neutral. So maybe like a black couch. Oh, I guess we could have a black couch, like a super dark wood. Or do you want like an actual black couch? Like a black sofa. Oh, that's a good idea. This one actually looks really cool. Thanks. I picked it out all on my own. So I guess we can each have a couple of chairs at each of our sides. Or you just want one big one across the whole room. One big one. Okay, well, I guess that also works. And whoa, Zoe, you have to be careful. There is lava below us. And now that we have this huge couch, I think the last thing we probably need to add is a couple really big paintings. That looks so good there. Yeah, I think that's like the perfect theme for a book area too don't you think yeah i think that's a great idea and maybe i can add one more right here let's see which one do i have maybe i can add in this haunted house and ooh, spooky that looks perfect yeah that looks super good yeah thanks so i think it's like one of the coolest pieces in our entire library we have one of the best underground bases ever okay zoe and we're almost done with our base but we have to hurry that message literally just said we only have five minutes left until the big explosion happens i know dax but there's something i need to tell you i left my beloved purple sheep on the island and we can't leave without it wait zoe are you literally Really serious right now you left a stupid purple sheep on the island there's no way we're going out for that thing dax that sheep means a lot to me we can't just abandon it here we have to save my purple sheep then we'll make a run for the base oh my gosh well all right let's go ahead and grab your purple sheep do you even remember where it is yes it's right by the volcano what the heck Zoe? why do we leave everything by the volcano i don't know i thought that was the safest spot oh my goodness i can't believe we're actually doing this but come on we can get this purple sheep super super quick and then we can make it back to our secret underground base come on zoe we don't have that much time and we don't want to get caught up there whenever the volcano explodes that'd be horrible for us yeah that would be super bad then i would have a burnt sheep yeah you would have a burnt sheep but you would also be completely burnt from all the lava and stuff the sheep is all that matters in my eyes well yeah now there's only four minutes left zoe and you said it's by the volcano right so it shouldn't be that hard to find yeah hopefully not okay come on where is this purple sheep at zoe i'm not seeing it anywhere seriously dax i can see him from right here wait you can see it from right here well, where is it we have to go he's by the volcano well yeah i know he's by the volcano but where and oh my gosh so is it literally up the volcano are you serious yes we have to hurry so he doesn't get hit by the lava oh my goodness well come on let's grab this stupid sheep and let's get back to our house i'm going as fast as i can let me just go ahead and grab it real quick. Come on, come on. And perfect. Now we can actually make it back. Uh, wait a second, Zoe. It says time's up. What in the world does that mean? That means we have to run. Wait, are we literally out of time? And what the heck? A bunch of explosions are going everywhere, Zoe. Quick, get back to the base. Oh, no. I'm on fire. What in the world is going on, Zoe? This is horrible. Come on. We have to get to our underground base as fast as possible. Dex, go without me. Save my sheep. No, Zoe. You have to get here, too. I'm not just leaving you. You have to. Come on, Zoe. It's literally over only right there we're super close now oh no i hope our base didn't get destroyed yeah it looks like it destroyed the front part of our base but look we can still go to the stairs this is no problem hurry we gotta go yeah come on there were so many explosions outside zoe i didn't know a volcano could be that destructive really you didn't think a volcano could be that destructive oh my gosh zoe look what it did to our underground base the whole main entrance is destroyed oh my gosh how is the water not sleeping down i have no idea but come on zoe let's go ahead and check out our elevator hopefully
hopefully everything's still alive. And oh my goodness, it looks like it destroyed so much of our base. What in the world? This is not good. We have to get down to the farm. Yeah, I guess the farm was one of the lowest points. Maybe that place is still alive and hopefully our kids got down there. Oh no, the kids. I forgot all about them. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Hopefully they're still alive. And wait a second. I see our kids down here. No way. Oh my gosh, they're safe and sound. And wait a second. It looks like they changed clothes. They look exactly like us now. This is a little bit creepy. Aw, they're so cute. Yeah, they are kind of cute. But Zoe, our whole underground place got completely destroyed by that volcano. What in the world? Yeah, but we're safe and the kids are safe. So I guess we're okay. And wait a second, Zoe. Our library is safe too. We have all the knowledge in the world. Let's go. Sweet. This is really all we need. And that was a super crazy adventure. Make sure to watch the next one by clicking the video on screen. Bye, guys.